Hello, welcome to my video. Today I'm going to show you how you can install Bedrock Linux on your Fedora installation. Uh, I'm currently using the KD version of Fedora, but it will be the exact same for any other installation of Fedora, so don't worry about that. Uh, the guides will be the exact same as well. So uh, we're just going to go inside the Bedrock Linux uh, website. I'm just going to link this down below so you can just easily access it there. And after that, uh, we're just going to click down the install instructions. And we're just going to scroll down until we find this link. So let's click here to download the file. So we're just going to go there. And after that, we're just going to agree it here. And here, we're just going to find the current releases. Then we're going to select our CPU architecture. If we're using 64 bit CPU, since all of our CPU computers technically use 64 bit, we're going to select 64 bit from here. If you're using a Raspberry Pi or something like that, choose the ARM versions down here. These three, and most likely it's the 64 bit version of that. But we're going to select this since that's not our architecture. After that, after we're selecting this, we're just going to click on open link. And it's going to start downloading it. It's like a 3 megabyte file. I'm just going to cancel that since I already have it downloaded. After that, we can close out of our browser. It doesn't really matter. Uh, let's go to our downloads. And as you can see, it's over here. Uh, let's just open up a terminal so that we can actually install it. So I'm just going to CD into my downloads since I didn't open it from there. Okay, so there we go. We have the file here. Uh, in order to download, we're just going to use the command that they give us here. SH, then the Bedrock Linux, our release version, and the architecture, then the hijack command, which uh, is like saying download, but since it's hijacking the current installation of your system, it's named after that. So let's just write sudo first, though, since we're not using a root user, then SH. And then let's say bat, uh, just you can write just B, then click on tap, and it will automatically complete it for you. Then I'm just gonna copy the hijack command from here. Okay, then we're just gonna click enter. It's gonna ask our root password. Let's give it that. And then it's gonna give us a warning that it's not reversible. We already know that. So I'm just gonna copy this text here and there we go then paste it and don't forget that it's not reversible if you have a backup you could go back but if you don't uh, yeah you have to reinstall your distro so keep that in mind i'm just gonna click enter oh well i typed it wrong i guess okay let's type it manually then yeah? not reverse When? Oh, okay, okay. And I did write it wrong, so let's just type that again. I know what's wrong. The exclamation mark. I forgot the exclamation mark. There we go. And it's just going to start downloading it now. Well, not downloading it. It's basically just um, making it or uh, configuring it or something like that. And it's finished. Well, theoretically. Right now, we can't still use Bedrock Linux yet. Uh, we need to reboot, so let's just start our system again. Just uh, it means rebooting, so yeah. In the reboot process, we are going to see a different menu. I'm just going to show you uh, when it comes up. It's basically uh, letting us select a different system D session. Uh, I already have a Windows installed on this. Uh, it's a dual boot system, so that's why uh, it's showing the bootloader. If you have a one, just only your one Linux distro, you won't show that grub menu there. But this menu right now is just about to show up. 
uh, that is going to give you the option to, yeah, there you go, this menu, it's going to let you uh, use a different init system if you like. Uh, since we just installed Bedrock Linux right now, it's only showing our current systems in its system, which is systemd lib, that thing, the Fedora's one. Uh, to enter our system, you have to push one and then click on enter, and it's going to use the init system of our Fedora installation, and we're going to boot up into our system like nothing happened. Currently, it only give us the Bedrock compatibility, but there's not much things changed in their current workflow you can exactly use your fedora installation as it is but uh, with a catch you can now have arch linux installations and also debian if you like so that's the fun part about it and as you can see our system is almost booted up And we're currently finished. So, thanks for watching. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to show you how you can install Arch or Debian packages into your Fedora installation. So, yeah, thanks for watching.